I became a member of MOFA earlier in the year, uh, around the time of the 48. Um, I liked what they were doing for the local community. And I thought, okay, this is a good organization to be a part of. And they had mentioned at the time, we were thinking about maybe doing this as um, something for um, Columbus filmmakers. And I thought, oh, well, you know, I'd love to do that. And that kind of even furthered me to get in, involved with MOFA. Um, so that's kind of where that seed started. Um, and then as time progressed, it just was more of a, we are doing this type of scenario. I was the writer and the editor and the colorist. And I also wrote music. Uh, for our short called um, Woodland. Um, those were my jobs on this specific part. The advice I would give people working within these time constraints would be to be an amoeba. Uh, what do I mean by be an amoeba? Be prepared that things are going to go wrong. Locations may fall through. Um, there may be clashes on set. You have to be able to bend and adapt. Yeah, if you don't bend and adapt, your project's going to fail. Uh, if you can bend and adapt, you have a much higher success rate or a much higher probability of being successful. Uh, I was taught when I was a student years ago, <laughs> years ago, geez, um, that filmmaking is really nothing but solving problems. And it is your job as a filmmaker, whether you're an editor, whether you're a screenwriter, whether you're a director, whether you're a cinematographer, your job is to solve a problem. As an editor, you're going to be given footage that maybe doesn't work, or you're going to be missing footage. How do you get around that problem? As a writer, you may run into an actor or actress who can't deliver a line or convey a specific emotion. How do you then get around that problem? As a director, how do you keep people motivated? How do you keep them going? How do you let them grow creatively and be creative without straining them to a specific job or putting them in a corner? Some of the things we had to overcome in our production was, one, the first night we lost our location. Uh, we lost our actresses. Um, and when we got back to home base, we basically had to scrap our entire script, which went through four rewrites in its first iteration. So as the writer, I had to then come up with a new scenario, um, which the director came up with an idea. Um, and he gave me that log line and said, okay, write. So I had to write. Um, unfortunately, this was now Saturday morning. So we were hamstrung for time, so I wrote a script Saturday morning. Um, and then we went into production Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we didn't start shooting until 4. The assessment of what we pulled off is basically that we took a failed production, which we contemplated walking away from, and turned that into an eight-minute short film on the spur of notice. We didn't hesitate. We moved forward. Um, as, an edit as the editor and helping write music. So taking this and looking at it, what I take away from it is not only did we overcome some severe adversity, um, but we did it with style, we did it with class, and those of us who were in, in the post process got the job done.